Well, hello YouTubers. What's been going on, you might wonder. Why haven't we heard from you for such a long time? And why haven't we seen anything of this radio? I've just turned this camera on to show you the bench. This is what my bench has looked like after over a month of not doing anything. And the reason why I haven't been doing anything is I haven't been very well. It's been work related as in the start and finish times of the shifts that I work not giving me much time at home to do chores and things um, long driving hours, fatigue uh, not sleeping very well, lack of sleep sometimes up two three times in the night um, very very run down diabetes all over the place sugar levels through the roof I'm finally getting something sorted out about that uh, supposed to have gone for an operation uh, been for two uh, pre-ops but failed both the blood tests um, so um, we're still waiting for my diabetes to be better under control I'll be coming home from work absolutely exhausted um, sometimes with a bad head and the last thing I want to do is work on a radio the only way I'll work on this is with a sledgehammer so, um, the last um, parts that I made, uh, part 12 and 13, was actually one part, but I split it into two, and then I released the second part much later on. So, I haven't actually been doing any of this radio for a month and a half, two months, and the reason being is that I've just been too ill, fatigued, tired, to even do the simplest of chores. So what chance have I got of getting anywhere near a radio where I have to think about what I'm doing? So the best thing I decided to do was just to leave this uh, and hopefully one day come back to it at a date when I'm feeling better. Um, I'm not feeling better at the moment. I'm still fatigued and tired and ill and the rest of it. Um, but it's been such a long time. I wanted to show you where we are at the moment. So this, this is basically, I just walked in, turned the camera on, and this is the state of my bench. Things that I've ordered, things that I was doing. Um, there's two two valves I, I've ordered for, for something, which I'll tell you about um, when I get around to doing that. But like I say, I'm just sorry for not being around. And this is going to happen again. Um, so if I disappear... That would be the reason why I'm tired and fatigued and just can't cope with anything for a while. So I have to stop. Um, as far as um, a radio, if I'm working on a radio and I've decided that um, I can't fix it or um, i busted it or broken it, I will tell you and I will tell you what I've done wrong. Um, we're not at that stage yet. We've still got things to do. So what I'm going to do, um, as I haven't done this is I'm going to tidy up my bench and then I'm going to switch the radio on and let you listen to the results of how things are working now that that box has been reinstalled. So let's sort this bench out and um, see what we can do next, alright? Hello, this is uh, for John about um, the... Um, uh, hookup wire that I was um, talking about uh, it's been a long time since you mentioned that John I know um, but this is the wire I ordered it's um, 6 amps and it's rated at 1 kilovolt and I'm going to use this for in the mains radios if ever I get that far and also I want to make some crocodile leads like what I use for the battery powered stuff which is like these now obviously these are no good for mains because the wires are too thin. Um, the only thing I've been struggling with at the moment, I mean I haven't really been looking that hard to be honest, is to find suitable crocodile ends to go on them. I want bigger ones, obviously that are insulated, um, but better insulation than this. Now if these go up to um, 1 kilovolt at 6 amps, I also want the sleeving to go up to at least six amps uh, and the high end of voltages um, 
because if you decide to hook onto something while the, while the chassis is live for some reason I want to be protected that way as well so that's the wire I've used that's the only colours I can get from um, the company I use um, I just zoom into the label now it's www.bitsbot sorry bitsbox.co.uk it's a UK based company I uh, very much doubt that you would want to buy anything from them in the USA because you'll have companies over there that's closer to home so anyway that's what I'm using and these are the only colours that's available to me from them at the moment but there's a lot more colours in this obviously but this is the wire I was planning on using also in preparation for doing Val radios I decided to buy some plasticine not because I'm going to make um, plasticine models or anything um, I usually buy in bulk so I bought a big, great big one one of these would have been enough probably and the plan is is that um, you soften your um, plasticine nice and soft and make it pliable and then you mix in with this some kind of graphite now I, now I bought this originally thinking that it would be ideal for what I want but this is a, a fine powder for squirting into locks it's too fine you want something a bit smaller than the grains of sand I haven't found anything yet but what you do is you mix that with this and you get as much in as you possibly can I might even use sand but I think sand is a bit too coarse I don't know I haven't made up my mind yet and um, basically what you're doing is um, you're making an emery paper in this plasticine and what you do is you get your valve right once you've got it impregnated with this uh, graphite stuff and you can keep pushing the pins in and out of that and it will clean the pins this is more used on um, valves that um, like the small pencil type valves where you haven't got a, a, central, a center spindle um, where you can just push it in and out without, without that getting in the way but I suppose you could do it on the sides of one of those that type of valves and you just keep pushing it in and it cleans all the pins um, I've got a tin of the, the, the stuff that I used years ago um, from uh, the Forbes Rentals, a company that um, I didn't last very long at um, I pinched some, sorry Forbes <laughs> um, but it's ideal stuff for this and I'm not 100% sure what it's called, it's just um, a powder in a box like a, like little grains um, that's packed away somewhere, God knows where that'll be but anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you so if you want to clean your valves you find something abrasive that's um, ideal that's not going to, I mean you've got to be, if you're going to use sand you've got to be careful because sand contains a lot of salts so if you're going to use sand you'd have to wash it and dry it um, but I'm sure there's better materials what I used was something that was like black similar to this sort of colour so um, I maybe was thinking of using um, um, carbon like what you would use in a, a filter you know like for um, uh, marine stuff I think they may be using those crushed up maybe that was my ideas anyway but that's no good that's for locks that's too fine but the plasticine is ideal all right let's carry on clearing this bench right this is the result of putting the radio back together and as you can see um, we've got distortion on the modulation now that's tone so that's as far as we got now when I first turned this on it went quiet again and I found by sticking something in I think it was this one I think it was this uh, coil and waggling it around 
um, it went louder and quieter and louder and eventually stayed louder so I think there might be an issue with something inside at least this side of transformer um, but we don't know but like I say this is where we are now so we've got um, some distortion just thought of trying something here See, it keeps coming and going. So I want to um, test these two transistors at some point. Um, especially that one there. Might even substitute it with another transistor because even if you test these transistors sometimes, even though the test's good, they're still leaky enough to cause a problem. This is as far as I got. Now I wanted to have a look inside this can. But, like I say, I was that tired and fatigued, I decided best to leave it, because if I get to a stage where I've done something and I can't get it back or something, because I've left it for so long, you know, and I thought maybe when I had an operation I would have had a, I would have been, been able to have the time to work on this more, you know. So like I say, this is the first time this has been turned on for months. You know. Well, this is actually livening up a bit. This is livening up a bit. We had that annoying buzz the last time. It's only pulling in the stronger stations, that's all. So that, that's where we are. Um, I'm not going to get a chance to do anything to this today. I'm, I'm sacrificing my um, making me Sunday roast dinner, uh, which I would have. Let's turn this off because it's getting annoying. So that's where we are. Um, and I just have not got the, had the chance to get anywhere near this at all. You know, it's very, very annoying, you know, when you've got something you really, really like to do and your job just gets in front all the time. You know, you, I come home so tired, so exhausted. The other day, I tell you, um, I had um, um, uh, done the second run and the first part, sorry, the first half of the second run, I was feeling sick because I was that for tired and fatigued. I was actually feeling like I was going to be sick. And I had to get back to where I came from and then do another full run, as well as drive from that area back to the depot and then drive home. So when I got home, my head was killing me and I couldn't do anything. Couldn't play a computer game, couldn't do anything. I was so ill and fatigued. Um, last week, um, in the, here in the UK, it was absolutely boiling. Tuesday was, I think, the hottest day last week. On Wednesday, I had to do a round trip in a vehicle uh, in all that heat, but I couldn't turn the cab heater off. And half the saloon heaters was on. You know what I mean? And um, that, knack that knackered us up for... A few days so I've got a lot more things to do to this radio yet there's an awful long way to go there's still capacitors to replace there's still um, resistors to chest to check um, I wanted to have a look at that IF can there's a whole load of things we're nowhere near finished with this yet so that's just to give you an update, purely because I know you haven't heard from me for such a long time and when, when you don't hear it for, for a long time from somebody, you can easily think up things as to, you know, what it could be and you're usually wrong, or at least I am when I've done it, you know. So like I say, um, I haven't given up on this radio yet, we've still got plenty to do. 
Um, if I'm going to give up on this radio because I can't do it or if I found I found that um, it's beyond me or something, I will tell you. I'm not um, ashamed to admit a failure, um, but I've say got a long way to go yet before I get to that stage. A lot more things to try. Okay, I'm going to end the video here right now because it's getting a bit long. Um, it's just to uh, let you know how things are really. Anyway, thank you very much everybody. Um, I hope that I do get back to this radio and if I get my operation, uh, whenever that's going to be, I'm going to be off somewhere between six to eight weeks. So unless I need anything mega expensive for this radio, I will have plenty of time to to carry on with this and it will keep me occupied, you know. Um, I also want to replace this uh, wire here, it looks a bit tight to me. Um, it's not, but um, I want it a bit more like this, I might replace that wire, make it a bit longer. Alright. As you can see there, when it, when we was playing it, um, it did improve. So that that tells me that we the capacitors in here are, you know, pretty shot by the sounds of it. All right, so take care. I don't know when I'm going to be able to post another video. I can't guarantee anything at the moment. Um, but I'll keep you posted whenever I can. Okay, take care. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.